three most dangerous words that keep you poor. Have you wondered why some people they seem to have the Midas touch? Whatever they touch, it turns into gold. Have you also wondered why some people they seem to set goals and whatever goals that they set, they just achieve them? What's the difference between them and you? What are their secrets? The secret is their words. See, words are how we think. Words are how we express ourselves. And today, I'm going to teach you three words that I believe you need to eliminate from your vocabulary from today onward. You don't use these three words anymore. The very first word, the most dangerous word that you could use day to day, is the word hope. Hope. This word keeps you poor. Think about it. When I talk to entrepreneur, when I ask them, so what exactly is your marketing strategy? They might say something like, "Well, Dan, my marketing strategy is I build my business through word of mouth, through referrals." And I always reply, "You mean hope? You see, hope is not a strategy. Most people they hope to grow their business. They hope to get referrals. They hope to generate more income. They hope to have more free time. They hope to start that business. They hope they'll get bank financing for their investments. They hope." Hope is not a strategy. You see, successful people we don't use hope as a strategy because the minute you use the word hope, what you're saying is you have no power, you have no control over the outcome. Why?、Well, I hope it works. I hope this works out. Now it's one thing to say, "Hey, I hope you like this video." That's okay. But whenever you say, "I hope I," when you give away that responsibility. You also give away that power. You have no control. You have no choice. When you have no choice, when you have no control, when you have no power, when you cannot decide, you cannot take action, and you cannot make that happen. So eliminate the word hope from your vocabulary. That word is keeping you poor. Word number two, and that is can't. I can't do it, right? I, I can't. I, I don't have time. Oh, I can't afford it. You see, the minute you use the word "can't," your brain stops working, stops looking for solutions. The minute you use "I can't," well, that's it. I, I can't do it, right? It robs you of your potential. It robs you of the possibility. Instead, ask yourself, "How can I?" See, when people say to me, "Well, I I, I can't start my business," or "I can't develop that high income skill," or "I can't." Do that side hustle, or I can't. Whatever. I always tell them. Does that mean that you don't want to do it, or does that mean you don't know how to do it? Because we all have the ability. We could all do something if we want to. Could you do it if you really, really, really want to? Of course you could. So the question is: Is not I can't. Is either you don't want to, and that's perfectly fine. Then don't say I can't. Just say I don't want to. When your friends ask you to go out. It's just well, you know, I can't tonight. Don't say I can't. Just say you know what? I've got other commitments. I don't want to go. Just tell them I don't want to go. This is not something I want to do. Or maybe next time, right? Decide, commit. When you say well, I I I can't. Does that mean you don't know how to do it? Because you could go get the how to. There's so much how to on the internet. You could go find a way. You can you can take a program, go to an event, learn from a mentor, do something. You have the ability, so replace that word "can't" with either "how can I" or "Hey, you know what? I can do it. I can start that business. I can learn that skill. I can learn from a mentor. Right? I can quit that job. I can go on that vacation. You have got so much more potential if you just believe in yourself. The third word is "try." Try. Think about this. Do you use this word a lot? I'll try to do something. Well, I tried. See, when you use the word "try," the minute you use that word, you are setting yourself up for failure. You're giving yourself a way out when something doesn't work out. Well, you know, I try. I try my best. Hey, I try to call you, man. Right? I try. Try. Do this with me. I want you. If you're sitting down, if you're standing up, you're doing something. You're watching me right now. Listen to me. 
I want you to try to walk a step forward. Try to walk a step. Take a step. No, no, no. I didn't say walk a step. I said try to walk a step towards me. Go ahead. No, I didn't say move a step. I said try. Try to move. No, I did not say move a step. I said try to move a step. You see, the state of trying doesn't exist. It is a made-up bullshit story that we created in our own minds. The state of try it doesn't exist. Either you do or you don't. There is no such thing. Either you move, forward, you take a step forward, or you don't take a step forward. There is no try. Try means nothing. It means nothing happens. So eliminate that word from your vocabulary. You see, the distance between you and everything you want is your words. Words that you say to yourself, which is your mindset, and the words you say to others. How do you communicate? How do you influence? How do you persuade? How do you close? The only difference between me 10, 15 years ago compared to me today are the words that I use. I've learned to master the art and science of using words that serve me, that work for me, not working against me. How do I communicate? If you want to learn these words, I recommend you click the link below and join me and see what some of my students have done. When I teach them the words, not the words that keep them poor, the words that help them become more successful, the words that actually attract success and wealth. Click the link below. This is not motivational talk. This is not rah rah. This is science. See what they have to say.